Hi, this is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this pattern in Adobe Photoshop. The pattern style we are looking at today is where you use a colored shape and then you combine it with a black offset stroke. If you would like the design files for this tutorial, uh, be sure to check out my Patreon page where I upload all of the uh, design files for um, all of my tutorials here on YouTube. If you'd like to uh, support this channel, go ahead and check that out and I will leave a link to uh, my Patreon page in the description below. To start off with, let's go ahead and create a new file. So we'll click on new file. For this, I'm going to use the dimensions of 1200 pixels by 1200 pixels. Resolution set to 300 pixels per inch. Color mode is RGB color and then background content set to transparent. I'm going to go ahead and click on create. I'm going to go ahead and hit D on the keyboard to get my default colors here. And then I'm going to access the custom shape tool. The keyboard shortcut for that is U. You can also right click here if you ever need to toggle between the different ones you can just hit shift U to get to the tool that you're looking for and we are looking for the custom shape tool. From the drop down menu where I'm going here is we have the legacy shapes and more all legacy default shapes and then coming down I'm going to access the nature folder here and I'm going to use the four leaf clover here. If you do not see the default shapes, you could always go to Window, access the Shapes panel here, and then from the menu here, you'll just click to uh, select Legacy Shapes and more, and they will be loaded into your Shapes panel. So we have our shape here. I'm just going to go ahead and click and drag, and then via for the Move tool, and we have our shape here. Let's go ahead and give this shape a color. Accessing my uh, swatch panel here, I'm going to select a, a green color. And then let's go ahead and make a duplicate of this layer, Command or Control J. And then we'll select a new color here. And then let's make another duplicate, Command or Control J. This time we are going to make this our stroke layer. So I'm going to go back to my shape layer here. Under Fill, I'm going to select No Fill. Under Stroke, we're going to select Black. And then for this, let's try um, let's try 10 pixels for our stroke. When it comes to the stroke, you could always play with the align, uh, whether you want to align it to the inside. We have uh, just normal here, or you can do the outside of the shape. Depending on how the shape looks, we'll go ahead and keep it to where it's on the uh, middle here. We'll access our move tool here again, V, and then I'm just going to bring it up to one of my shapes here, and then just hitting the arrow keys, going to create just kind of a bit of an offset of our shape here. And then you can just play with that until you get it to um, an offset that you like. So I'm actually going to delete this one and then we'll just duplicate these ones. Command or Control J, we'll move it to the side. That way I can keep the same offset and then I'll just change this color again there. So we have two uh, different colors of our shape here. And so I'm going to uh, select these two layers here and I'm going to convert this to a smart object. So we'll go uh, right click here in the layers panel and select convert to smart object. And then I'm going to do the same thing here with these two layers, right click convert to smart object. We are going to duplicate these objects. So it's always a good idea to um, convert it to a smart object first when you are duplicating objects. That way, if you need to go and make a change, you can uh, make a change to the smart object and it will update the changes throughout the various copies. I'm going to go ahead and zoom out here, Command or Control minus key. For this, I'm going to create a half drop pattern. So, so I'm going to go ahead and select both of these objects here, Command and click to select both layers. And then I'm going to hit the M for the marquee tool. And then we're going to go Command A to select everything. I'm going to go V to access these align tools. And then I'm just going to hit the center button for both vertically and horizontally. And then we can go ahead and deselect Command or Control D. So with this top one here, we're going to bring it to the top of the canvas here. So I'm going to go Command or Control T. And then we're going to leave our X value and we're going to bring our Y value up to zero. 
And then any object that's at the top here needs to be repeated down here as well. So let's go Commander Control J to copy it and then Commander Control T and then we will bring it down. So in this case, we need a Y value of 1200 pixels, the size of our canvas. So we'll go ahead and enter that here and then selecting OK. Uh, let's go to this top one here. Let's go ahead and duplicate Command or Control J. And then for this next one, we are going to bring it to this position here to make our half drop. So let's go Command or Control T. In this case, we are looking for an X value of zero, and then we are gonna come down 300 pixels for our Y value, selecting OK. And then we are going to uh, duplicate this layer and add it to this side. So Command or Control J, Command or Control T. Leaving the Y value as is, we're gonna go over to 1200 pixels here for our X value. And then we are going to duplicate this one here, Command or Control J, Command or Control T. And we're gonna add it to uh, this bottom position here. So we'll leave our, so we'll bring our X value to zero. And then this time Y value is going to be 900 pixels. And then we'll just go ahead and duplicate that, Command or Control J, Command or Control T to move it to this position. So we'll just add our 1200 pixels here. And we have our basic half drop repeating pattern here. So let's go ahead and define this pattern. Edit, define pattern. You can give your pattern a name and then just click on okay. And then let's go ahead and test this pattern in a new document. So I'm gonna go file new. I'm gonna use the dimensions of digital scrapbook paper, which is 3,600 pixels by 3,600 pixels. Resolution set to 300 pixels per inch. Color mode is RGB color. Background content set to transparent. And then click on create. For this, we are going to use a pattern fill adjustment layer. You can select OK here. And then I'm gonna bring up my patterns window here. You can see uh, my newly created pattern here in blue. If you do not see your patterns window, just go ahead and click on Windows and select Patterns here. So let's go ahead and select that pattern here and then let's give it a background color. So we'll go solid color adjustment layer here. Uh, let's just do white for now, FFF, clicking on OK and then we'll just drag it below our pattern layer. So we have a basic repeating pattern here in our half drop style with our fun um, offset stroke here. Let's go ahead and jump back into our original swatch here. And then let's make a little bit of adjustments here. So with this middle object, I'm gonna go ahead and flip it. So we're gonna go to edit, transform, flip vertically. And then let's go ahead and do that to uh, this green color here as well. So we'll go edit, transform, flip vertically. And then because we did that to this object, we'll need to do that to this object as well. Go edit, transform, flip vertically. Uh, let's go ahead and define our new pattern here. So we'll go edit, define pattern, clicking on OK. And then we'll jump back over here. And then we can test out our new version here. And just by uh, flipping it, our object, it just gives it a little bit more of a dynamic pattern feel. We can test our original, which is a little more uniform. And then we just get a little bit of variation because we flipped it. So with the pattern fill layer, you can always double click here. If you want to uh, scale it down, you can. And then you can even reposition it here on the canvas. Um, if you wanna get back to the original, just click on snap to origin and then just clicking on OK. To save this as digital scrapbook paper, you'll just go to File, Export, Export As. Under File Settings, you can select your format. Uh, typically, I do JPEG for digital scrapbook paper. And then here under Quality, you can bring up the quality here. Uh, just note that the higher the quality, the larger the file size here. And then just scrolling down, and then here under color space, I like to click to embed color profile, and then you can just click to export your file. Thank you for watching this video on how to create this pattern in Photoshop. Today we looked at using the technique of a offset stroke. Again, if you want access to all the design files for my tutorials, then you can join me over on Patreon. I will leave a link to it in the description below. Thank you for the support. It helps me to keep making these tutorials. 
If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment below. Be sure to check out my other tutorials on how to create patterns in Photoshop. This is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. See you next time.